This week, Designing Minds features a rising star of graphic design, Julia Hoffman. In the last of three episodes, Julia switches to a wholly new medium, interactive design, when she signs on with major advertising agency Crispin, Porter & Bogusky to create award-winning national campaigns for Burger King. I'm Julia Hoffman, and I'm on Designing Minds. wanted to hire me for the interactive department. I still thought advertising is print ads and TV and I kind of wanted to steer more into, into that direction because I thought websites are stupid. But I realized if I don't learn it now, I will never learn it. I need to learn how to like it or I need to learn how to work with it because I know that this is the future and, and having interactive experience, it's important. I'm completely like I was an infant getting in there. I didn't know the lingo, I didn't know what a skyscraper banner is. Like the size, they're like, oh yeah, do it this size, and like, what, 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 pixels? And I was still doing everything in inches and in CMYK. I loved InDesign and Illustrator. And the first three months, I was still designing websites in Illustrator, and everybody was going bananas. They're like, I can't believe that. You need to switch over to Photoshop because my files started becoming huge. So that was sort of a transition. After a while, I really liked Photoshop. and <laughs> I know how to work in it. It was a learning curve, but what I thought was really interesting is to learn sort of, to see it from a psychological point of view, how is their experience and what do you want them to do. So it, there's not only the third or fourth dimension of the time, but also of the reaction and what you want them to do. The campaign is called What the People Want, and they chose a black 1965 Beetle, which is Volkswagen's icon. He's a spokesperson for the people, and he knows what the people want. The whole thing was about the heritage of Volkswagen, and in 1965, I mean, everybody remembers Volkswagen was that car, and everybody had it. We wanted to say that we know what the people want. They do want better performing cars, and they're doing amazing stuff environmentally. So uh, they wanted to, to speak for the people. VW didn't want to put words into the people's mouth. And so in order to do that, we created that polling website to find out what the people actually want. And people can submit what they want and have other people vote on it. and we had it appear everywhere as like little teaser ads in New York Times or as banners. And we wanted originally to have these like shocking statements. There are certain statements where people are really divided on, I mean, as trivial as like people want vanilla ice cream versus chocolate ice cream. I think I took a lot from them. I learned in this one year, I learned more than I ever learned. Uh, I learned a completely different media. Yeah, graphic design and advertising, they are different, but I want them to be similar because uh, I think uh, we're doing essentially the same thing. We're designing in a smart way where we're coming up ideas that look nice. I would have stayed on at Crispin if I wouldn't have gotten that green card. I would have stayed on at least for another year um, because there was a lot of opportunities happening there. Um, but I told myself, or if I don't travel now, um, I'm 30 years old, um, I need to do it now. If I don't do it now, I will never do it. Mm -hmm. 